Effective right now, all bars and restaurants in North Carolina are closed for dining in. Governor Cooper issued that executive order this afternoon in an effort to slow down the spread of coronavirus. Our Colleen Quigley spoke with the governor today on its impact to the economy. She's live tonight. Colleen. Yeah, Angela Marius, that went into effect minutes ago at 5 o'clock. We're live on Glenwood South outside Hibernian Pub. You can see they posted it right here. Uh, no more dining in at some of your favorite restaurants like this one. You can still do carry out. You can still get delivery. They've got set up here for curbside pickout. So that's the good news. But the governor telling us today the reason he did this is in hopes of slowing the spread of COVID-19 so that fewer people get sick at the same time. And that way we're not overwhelming our health care system. And now the governor said that over the weekend, and he had tried to issue some limitations, restrictions on how many people could get together. He said no groups, no more than 100, but not all of the restaurants in the area abided by that. So that is why he felt this executive order was necessary. He did say that he understands that this is going to be a hardship and that people are going to lose their jobs. This will be a hardship, not only for the restaurants and their owners, many of which have voluntarily closed, but also on their customers who find comfort at their chairs and tables. It will also be a hardship for the employees who depend on them for their jobs. Well, back live now on Glenwood South, along with this executive order closing the bars and restaurants, dining rooms, he issued another executive order to make it easier for people to apply for unemployment so they can do so remotely uh, and that they also don't have to wait. There's a one-week waiting period, he, so he's removed that restriction as well. We'll have more on that coming up in our next half hour. And coming up at 6 o'clock, you're going to hear from restaurant owners like this one and their patrons on how they are reacting to this news. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.